Lego Pharaoh's Quest, Episode 5, The Sphinx. I'm Archibald Hale, once again. The next morning, Jake Rains was at the 7-Eleven. So, I have to get the golden sword, he said. I'm going to check my dad's old map. Okay, here I got it. And then he unfolded it. at the 7-Eleven, said Jake. And so I go all the way over there, across the Nile River, all the way over there, over to the Pyramids of Giza. Then I go all the way over to the, to the Great Pyramid, and then I go all the way over there, over to the Sphinx. Now this is going to be a long journey to the Sphinx, said Jake. So I'm going to need a vehicle. And suddenly, a robber's car came. <laughs> and the police helped. And the pair of police chased after them. And suddenly, the robber's car crashed. <laughs> I know what I'll do, said Jake. I'll use the robber's car to get me to the Sphinx. He said that would be a great idea. And so, and then he saw gold. And so, he put both his backpack and the gold in, in the trunk of the car. And then he started driving. Okay, and then he said, Buddy, I must go. You must come for the ancient Egyptian Sphinx. You must fall for the ancient Egyptian wall. You must fall off. Abracadabra, he said. Oh, it still doesn't work, said Jake. Why did I think of it before? shouted Jake. I'll use Dynamite! And then he threw the dynamite at the front, and then he backed out, and then it worked! Then he went inside to get the golden sword. And then he finally got it. And suddenly the ground started shaking. The Sphinx started coming to life. Wait, said Jake. It's, I can't see it. It can't see me. And then he turned around. The Sphinx started growling at him. Uh, no, 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 nice doggy. Shouted Jake, and then he ran under the 
think. Oh, you'll never get me, he said. What do I do now? shouted Jake. I got no dynamite, nothing! Then, he suddenly remembered something. He decided he was going to use the gold! And he used it. And then he was hoping that it would work. He gathered up all the gold. And then he threw it at the Sphinx. What? That didn't work. Then suddenly he felt something in his pocket. What's this? Oh, it's dynamite. And then... He threw it onto the Sphinx's back, and suddenly... <laughs> the Sphinx was dead. And then, he had to fix his car. Okay, he said. Now I need to fix the car. So he tried away. <laughs> He tried away. No, he said. He tried another way. No, he said. Mm. He tried another way. No, he said. And then he tried the final way. No, he said. Arr! He said, stupid car. Suddenly, the photographer came. She thought that this would be a great picture to put on the brick meteor paper. Then she did. Arr! Your opportunity for fixing a car, she said. This is how you do it. Here's a car, said Jake, and then he took off his backpack and put it on the side of the car. He even put, got the golden sword. He even put the golden sword in the then he drove away, and then the photographers found out that Jake has, had stolen her car. Ha! I'll try to shoot him. Now that guy is so going to have to pay. Oh, she said, now he's miles away. But then she saw a switch, and it said,
turbo mode. And so she combined it to make it go turbo mode. That guy's so going to have to pay. And he also is going to have to go to jail, she said. And then she start, started shooting. <laughs> Suddenly, Jake's car broke down. What do I do now? He shouted. Suddenly, he was all the way up the Nile River. And so, he found a good solution. He decided he would hook the, the, his car to the boat. And then, when he, he hooked the car to the boat. And then, And when it was hooked, it went all the way. And suddenly, blast! He went later that afternoon. He went. He went at the 7-Eleven. They cold splash of water. And then he put on his backpack, and then backpack, and then he got the golden sword. Then the the photographer just. Got to the 7-Eleven with a brick meteor paper. And then she put it in the brick meteor paper bin. And then she said, oh, there's my car. That guy's so going to have to pay for stealing my car. And she drove, oh, no, I'm going to have to use my car to catch it. Then Jake. But suddenly, the car broke down. <laughs> oh no, said Jake. I think I should see what's in the brick meteor paper. I think this is causing a problem with what's going on right now. And so, then, he didn't notice the robber sneaking up. He didn't notice seeing the robber sneaking up between. It was so fair. He didn't notice it. So, the robbers both got in the car and started to drive away. Hey, they stole my car! Said Sir Jake. Then he just decided to get a brick meteor paper. And then he put on the counter. 50 cents, says the newsman. Ching, ching. And then he gave the newsman 50 cents. Thank you, says the newsman. Please come again. And then Jake started reading it. What? He said.
photographer will be so dead when I see her again, said Jake. Jake knew it was when the sun started setting. He knew he was going to have to get back to the professor. And so he went all the way back to the professor. The end. Do not miss the final episode, The Scorpion Pyramid.